Number 9. Hippie Crack A 16-year-old girl attended a high school party at a home in Learnington Spa, Warwickshire in August of 2022, where she had inhaled laughing gas and then lost consciousness. Parties are supposed to be a fun experience where you get to hang out with your friends and sometimes do things you'll regret later in life. But in this instance, Kaylee Burns didn't have that luxury. The young woman was from Halewood in Merseyside and apparently suffered from asthma. When she saw all of her friends participating in the illegal substance, she thought she would join in not knowing the fatal consequences she would have. As she inhaled the laughing gas, sometimes referred to as hippie crack, she had an entirely different symptoms than everyone else at the party. She complained of feeling too hot soon after the drug entered her bloodstream and began to have an asthma attack, which later caused her to lose consciousness. The girl's 31-year-old sister, Claire Baker, received a message that night from one of Kaylee's pals, letting her know that she had been rushed to the hospital. Just hours after the incident, Merseyside police officers arrived at Claire's house to inform her that Kaylee had passed away. Unfortunately, the girl was only weeks away from turning 17, and the news devastated her family. After the horrific tragedy, Kaylee's relatives pleaded with the UK government to ban the drug, or at least require age restrictions for it. Number 8. Fatal Cleaning Products On July 19, 2020, a woman from the UK suffered a fatal asthma attack after inhaling toxic fumes from two cleaning chemicals she had mixed together in order to clean her bathroom. 34-year-old Celia Seymour planned to meet up with her boss, Peter Safari, that fateful day to discuss some work-related matters regarding the car wash she managed in Betchworth, Surrey. Peter called Celia to let her know that he was on her way to her house, and she had let him know she was going to quickly clean her bathroom before he arrived. When he showed up five minutes later, he could smell the chemicals in the air and reportedly said he could feel it in his chest. The two of them went outside to chat. However, minutes later, Celia collapsed, at which point Peter began to perform CPR on the woman. She was rushed to the hospital where she was put into a medically induced coma, but she unfortunately did not recover. She died from a horrific asthma attack after inhaling the toxic fumes from the concoction she had created using bleach and another toilet cleaner on July 23rd. The woman's heartbroken mother, Julie Fellin, now warns others not to mix different cleaning chemicals together in an attempt to save other people's lives. After the tragic incident, experts also said that mixing bleach with other household cleaners can result in the release of toxic gases and should never be done in the home without proper training. Number 7. Exploding Chewing Gum In December 2009, a Ukrainian chemistry student from Kyiv had his jaw blown off after he accidentally dipped his chewing gum in explosives that he mistook for citric acid. Vladimir Likonos, a 25-year-old student at the Kyiv Polytechnical Institute, apparently used citric acid to prolong the gum's taste and did it regularly. He was in his hometown of Konotov that night working on his computer when his mother heard an explosion come from behind her. When she turned around, she discovered Vladimir bleeding from his mouth on the ground. Emergency responders arrived at the house and did everything they could to save the man's life, but it just wasn't enough. Vladimir sadly died that night from his injuries. His entire jaw had reportedly been blown off, as well as most of his lower face. When police and a bomb squad investigated the scene to determine the cause of the blast, they found nearly 3.5 ounces or about 100 grams of a powder explosive that closely resembled citric acid near where the man had been sitting. Elvira Biganova, a police spokeswoman, was interviewed by the Associated Press and claimed that, quote, anyone could have mixed them up. Vladimir was known as a quiet and intelligent individual by friends and family, and he loved math and chemistry. He even made his own homemade firecrackers and hoped to be a scientist one day. He had been at home for the holidays after finishing that semester's exams and constantly was experimenting with different chemicals. This was unfortunately his downfall. Number 6. School Science Experiment In Hendersonville, Tennessee, a science experiment gone wrong resulted in 17 students being injured in an accidental explosion on May 9, 2018. Merrill Hyde Magnet School was evacuated after the blast and emergency responders arrived on the scene. Chief Scotty Bush from the Hendersonville Fire Department was interviewed regarding the incident and said that there was a chemical reaction that caused, quote, a temporary flash of fire, which only lasted about three to five seconds. However, in that short amount of time, a total of 17 students, including the teacher, were injured from the explosion. The teacher and four of the students were taken to a nearby hospital to have their wounds treated by medical professionals. Many of those affected by the accident suffered from chemical burns 
weapons, but luckily there were no fatalities reported. An investigation was opened to determine exactly what went wrong and foul play was ruled out as a possible conclusion. The fire department later discovered that the incident was caused by mixing ethyl alcohol and boric acid, which is an odorless white substance. The accident was also determined to be unintentional, but some of the victim's families still filed complaints against the teacher who had been leading the class. Even though nobody had died in the explosion, one of the students reportedly experienced, quote, permanent disability and loss of enjoyment of life as a result of the blast. His family sought a whopping $100,000 on top of medical expenses because he soon began experiencing post-traumatic stress disorder from the ordeal. Another female student suffered extreme life-altering burns to her face, chest, and arms, and her family asked for $750,000 in relief, and another $100,000 for the mother's compensatory damages for medical bills. However, the Board of Education who employed the science teacher denied any negligence in the matter and aimed for both of the complaints to be dismissed. Number 5. Homemade Alcohol In August of 2021, a 63-year-old woman accidentally poisoned at least 16 house guests after serving them her homemade alcohol in Kaunas, Lithuania. The woman, who was not named in the article, apparently had been convicted in the past for trafficking in, quote, domestic alcoholic beverages and ethyl alcohol. A home search was conducted to find out the origins of the deadly liquid, and everything they found was taken in for further investigation. The victims were all in varying ages between 30 and 60 years old. Jonas Circus, a doctor of clinical toxicology from the Nephrology Clinic of Kaunas, stated that alcohol surrogates typically contain various types of alcohols which are used to intoxicate. However, he further explained that the use of these kinds of drinks often results in death. The most common alcohol surrogates tend to fall into two categories, those with ethanol and those without it, such as methanol, wood spirit, and ethylene glycol antifreeze. He also said that ethanol alcohol poisoning is usually not severe. However, if methanol or ethylene glycol are included in the mix, it's often fatal, even if they are treated in a timely manner. Circus believes that in this case, methanol was most likely the cause of the poisoning. When emergency responders arrived at the scene, the victims were all close to dying or already dead, and the woman responsible was detained on suspicion of, quote, negligent murder. Sixteen men and women died as a result of the incident, and those that survived are likely to experience irreversible lifelong effects, such as blindness or kidney failure. Have you ever gotten so drunk that you suffered from alcohol poisoning? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. Number 4. Chemical Burns a 15-year-old student from Maple Grove Junior High School in Minnesota suffered severe second-degree burns to his hand, face, and neck after an explosion erupted in their science class in December 2011. Dane Newberger was the most seriously injured out of the four students who had been hurt as a result of the accident. Chaos broke out in the ninth-grade classroom after a flash fire sparked as a result of a rogue flame that escaped from the bottle of methanol that it was meant to consume. Matthew Acor, the 61-year-old science teacher, profusely apologized to the student and his his family for the incident. However, the Newbergers did not seek vengeance on the man and instead pushed for safety issues to be addressed by the school. Out of the 30 students present during the explosion, only four of them were injured and had to be treated at the hospital. Surgeons at work with Dane were hopeful that his burns would heal normally after just a couple of weeks, and he would only be left with minimal scarring. Many of the victim's parents were generally supportive of Mr. Acor and did not wish for any legal action to be brought against him. An investigation concluded that negligence was the cause of the incident, However, there were no charges filed against the school or the teacher. Number 3. Drano A doctor from Newport Beach, Oregon supposedly caught his wife trying to kill him by poisoning his drinks on three separate occasions in 2022. Jack Chan captured his wife Yu Emily Yu on video, adding Drano drain cleaner to his drinks on July 11th, 18th, and 25th. After he witnessed her first attempt, he began covering his morning tea with saran wrap, and she still would peel it off and add the poison to it. Apparently, Yu and the woman's mother had a history of being emotionally and physically abusive towards Chen and his two children. The doctor claimed that Yu's parenting style revolved around yelling, insulting, and hitting. Chen quickly filed for divorce as well as a restraining order against the woman, and Yu was arrested a day later. Before Chen knew what was going on, he began to develop symptoms like gastritis, esophagitis, and stomach ulcers. He grew suspicious of his wife after he started to notice a chemical taste in his drinks and set up the cameras in the kitchen to catch her in the act. 
It turns out that he was right, and after obtaining video evidence of the poisoning, he turned it into the police. Even though Yu was arrested, she was released the next day after posting $30,000 bail. She has yet to be charged with anything, but with the substantial amount of evidence in Chen's favor, it's extremely unlikely she'll walk away without a jail sentence for attempted murder. Number 2 Spa Day Catastrophe A man from the state of Georgia was left with severe burns to his face after he visited an Atlanta spa for a chemical peel in February 2022. This was the first time Neo White had ever received this type of treatment, and in a TikTok video he posted, he described it as a horrific experience. He had visited the Diamond Faces skincare bar on multiple other occasions with no issues, but had only received milder treatments in the past. He didn't quite know what to expect going into it, but he never imagined that he would be left with extreme chemical burns to his face, which would affect him for the rest of his life. When the treatment began, he felt an intense burning sensation and immediately voiced his discomfort. However, White claims that the esthetician assured him that what he was feeling was normal. When she had finished the chemical peel, his skin was left looking a white and gray color. He was told that the acid would dry up on his own, and the rest of the chemical was not removed fully from his face. After he returned home, he began to notice several spots that continued to grow darker and darker over time. Over the next couple of days, these spots started to resemble burns, and so he sought medical treatment to reverse the effects of the chemical peel. The esthetician responsible for the incident refused to give White a refund and would not take any responsibility for the aftermath of the treatment. The man started a GoFundMe page to cover his medical expenses and trips to the hospital, as well as legal fees since he plans to file a lawsuit in the near future. Number 1 Fireball The family of a 6th grader from San Diego's Capri Elementary pressed charges against the school after their son suffered burn injuries to his cheeks, forehead, ears, and chest as a result of a dangerous science experiment that went horribly wrong in 2019. 13-year-old Priest Rivera was in attendance on June 13th when his teacher, Lori Feinberg, decided to carry out the Black Snake Experiment. This involves mixing sand, sugar, and baking soda and alcohol together before lighting it on fire, which usually results in a carbon snake rising out of the mixture. However, when Ms. Feinberg tried to perform this experiment that day, nothing happened. Wondering if she did add enough alcohol to the mix, she poured out more of the liquid, which resulted in an explosion that engulfed Rivera in flames. The teen's skin, hair, and clothing were caught in the blaze, and he had to be rushed to the hospital for severe burns he endured. The boy's family filed a complaint against the school district and sought an unspecified amount of damages. However, since the lawsuit was filed in December 2019, it has since been confidentially resolved, and it's unclear what the outcome was. If you were injured in a school experiment but made a full recovery, would you push for legal action against the teacher, or would you let it go but expect there to be changes in safety regulations? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Bad Badger.